Filter presses are used in a huge variety of different applications, from dewatering of mineral mining slurries to blood plasma purification. Here we are going to install 24 chamber filter press. So let's begin installation. First of all, foundation bolt are placed on foundation slots. Then the free head and fixed head with leg are placed on the foundation using lifting beam. When both the head are placed on foundation, the nuts are screwed on all foundation bolts and are loose. After that, the tie bar is placed on the head as shown, and the level is measured using level pipe. When leveling is done, the tie bar end is bolted on heads. Same procedure is repeated for another tie bar. When the mounting of tie bar is completed, the foundation bolts are now tightened. And now the foundation slots are filled with RCC. The next step is assembling moving header. It consists of two handles, four rollers, and two roller pins. After completing the assembly, the moving header is placed on the tie bar. The input and output pipe of the power pack is connected to the input and output of fixed head. A dummy plate is first covered with filter cloth and then placed at the end of the moving head. The big flange is now placed at middle from inside and then mounted from other end using flange nut, and another flange is mounted at this end, so that the slurry pipe can be mounted here. Same procedure is repeated for all four small flanges as shown. The outlet of slurry pump is now mounted on the big flange using nuts and bolts. And finally plates are placed. The plates with red caps are wash plates, and the plates with blue caps are pressure plates. The placement of plates are done carefully, each plates should be placed one after another and should be covered with filter clothes. When the mounting of each parts are done, and the filter press is ready to run, then a container is placed under the plates to collect the cake, formed during the process.